45 people are on a bus. Two thirds of them depart. Next, seven get on, then two get off. How many people are still on the bus after all that activity? So this is the problem. And if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then of course, I will explain the solution uh, to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy a good math challenge from time to time, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution. And of course, the first thing we need to do is understand the problem. So that brings me to my uh, rule of three. And uh, in mathematics, probably one of the uh, biggest mistakes that students do is they read the problem one time uh, and then they'll just start doing stuff, okay? Never do that. You always want to read the problem once and then be like, okay, I think I understand what's going on. Read it again, kind of confirm that and then read it one more time and make sure you understand the question. And of course, you can always identify the question in the problem by going to the question mark and backing up. So how many people are on this bus? And again, we have uh, some people on this bus, people are getting off, people are getting back on the bus, et cetera, et cetera. So we gotta read uh, this problem and kind of visualize it, interpret it. And that um, brings us to the next step here is when you are dealing with a math word problem, you always want to try to model the problem visually. Okay, if you can, sometimes it's um, easier with, uh, you know, other problems versus, you know, other types of problems. It's not so easy to uh, model. But in this particular case, you can just be creative, right? In other words, kind of sketch out visually what you think is, you know, would model what's going on here. Okay, so let me kind of show you what I did. And this is how I kind of think about it. So we have this bus going down the road here and it has 45 people on it, right? So that's what the problem says. We've got 45 people that are on a bus. That's the starting point. So then two third of those folks depart. Okay, so here's our bus, has 45 people. Two thirds of these people are going to get off the bus. Then what happens next? And of course, this is like in chronological order. Next, seven people get on the bus, all right? So we're gonna have to come over here. Seven people get on the bus. And then lastly, uh, we have two people are going to uh, depart the bus right here. So after all these people getting off and on and off and on the bus, how many people remain? Okay, so this is kind of a visual representation of what's going on. And hopefully you kind of came up with something similar, but if you had a, another way, uh, another creative way to kind of interpret the problem, that's perfectly fine as well. But it's always um, really advantageous to come up with a model, uh, a visual model, a graphical model, if you can uh, to kind of um, describe the problem, because that way you can kind of see the solution. And here, uh, basically what we have is just kind of a chronological um, ongoing math problem. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do. Okay, so here we have our bus with 45 people uh, that are on it. The first thing we need to understand is two thirds of these folks are going to get off the bus, okay? So how many people uh, is that? Well, we're gonna have to figure out this basic math question right here. What is two thirds of 45, okay? All right, so what is two thirds of 45? Well, uh, to get the answer to that question, what we have to do is simply multiply two thirds by 45, okay? Now, we're multiplying a fraction by a number. You can always think of any number as a fraction by just simply putting it over one. So if you have like the number five, you're like, hey, I wanna think of that as a fraction, no problem, just put it over one. So now you have a, a numerator and denominator. So we're gonna take that two thirds and multiply it by uh, 45 or 45 over one. And then to multiply fractions, you simply multiply the numerator and uh, the respective numerators and denominators. So two times 45 is 90, three times one is three, 90 divided by three is 30. Now, some of you could have said, well, look, I know 45 and here's three, three goes into 45, 15 and 15 times two is 30. And that is fantastic as well. So either way, 
as long as you came up with uh, 30 as the right answer, well, then we are on our kind of uh, road, if you will, <laughs> to figuring out the solution. Okay, so what do we just do here, though? We have this bus, 45 people, two-thirds of these folks got off, and we just figured out that's 30, right? So let's go ahead and just take one step and not try to do everything at once. Just kind of, you know, take it one step at a time, and that is something that really, really will help you solve any math problem, okay? Don't take too many steps at once. Just stop and think, and be like, okay, did I take the first step, right? And if you're confident, then move on to the next step. All right, so here is the situation. At this point of the problem, we have this bus, two thirds of those folks leave, all right? So we figured out that two thirds of 45 is 30. So 45 people are on the bus and 30 leave. How many people are still on this bus? Well, our total population of passengers now is 15 people, right? So a lot of people got off the bus, but 15 remain. Now, how do we get this answer? Well, if 30 left, if we started off with 45 and 30 left, so that's gonna be 45 minus uh, 30, which of course is 15. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. We have 15 people that are on the bus. Now, uh, what's going to uh, happen next? Well, seven people are going to get on, and then after that, two people are going to leave the bus. Then we're going to figure out uh, how many people remain. And hopefully you see that this is going to be a very easy prompt to finish. Before we continue on, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button. Now, the reason I want more subscribers is basically I look at everybody that subscribes to my channel as a new student and as a math teacher that makes me very happy. So uh, the best way to support this channel and what I do is to simply hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, remember, uh, irrespective of whether you're a math student or not, if you want to relearn math, for example, and you've been out of school for many, many years, I have two great courses, my Math Foundation and my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to all of this in the description of this video. But if you happen to be a student, make sure to check out my full uh, course library. Again, you can find the links to all of this in the description below. Not too much more to do here, right? So here is the problem. We started off with a bus of 45 uh, people. Two thirds of those folks get off and depart the bus. That's 30, right? So 30 leave. So that leaves us with 15 people uh, on the bus. So seven more people are going to get on the bus. So we're gonna add seven to those folks, but then two of uh, people are going to leave. So we can just subtract two from this uh, group right here. So 15 plus seven minus two. And if we do our arithmetic correct, uh, we get 20. All right, now again, you know, whether you did this in your brain or, you know, a piece of paper or, you know, you um, used a calculator, it doesn't make a difference. If you got the right answer, that's excellent. And if you didn't get the right answer, if you're like, boy, I'm terrible in math, listen, please do not give up in mathematics, okay? Whatever you do, if you struggled in math, you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. You can, by the way, too, if you are an older uh, person, okay, in other words, you've been away from school for many years, you can't look back and, you know, when you were in, you know, school and be like, oh, I did terrible in school. Therefore, there's my confirmation that I'm bad at math. No, what you need is motivation to want to learn math. You need great math instruction. You need a lot of things explained step by step, and you need to see a lot of practice problems ex explained step by step, and you need to do a lot of practice problems. So if you're willing to do the work, okay, and you have someone giving you encouragement, and you're willing, again, to stick with math for a good period of time, you will get better in mathematics. Now, uh, if you had a tough time with this particular problem, uh, it's a pretty good indication that you need to review some basic math skills. And I wanna highly suggest uh, checking out my Math Foundations uh, mini course. It's like a little mini boot camp basic math course. I go over um, uh, percent, fractions, order of operations, uh, place value, all that kind of basic stuff. You'll find a link to that in the description below. So that would be a good starting point if you really do want to kind of get into mathematics. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.